Hello friends, myself Rajendra Mahajan presenting my video on matrices point solution of linear simultaneous equations homogeneous type. Uh, let us solve the problem x plus 3y plus 2z is equals to 0 first equation second 2x minus y plus 3z equals to 0 third 3x minus 5y plus 4z equals to 0 and the last equation is x plus 17y plus 4z equals to 0. We have four equations in three unknowns. Unknowns are x, y and z. As the right hand side of the equation is equals to 0, type is homogeneous type. And therefore, to solve it, we have to write on the augmented matrix. Mm -hmm. Augmented matrix, a combination of matrix A and matrix D. A matrix A coefficient of equations, therefore 1, 3, 2 and the right hand side is 0. Second equation 2, minus 1, 3, 0. Third equation 3, minus 5, 4 and 0. Last equation 1, 17 and 4. And 0. We separate this 2 by a line. Then as I have discussed in my previous videos, we have to convert this matrix to its canonical form. Means we have to convert the principal diagonal elements first, second, third to non-zero and lower diagonal elements to zero thereby obtaining a canonical form of that matrix. And therefore, leftmost element is 1, non-zero. And using this one, we can convert the remaining elements in that column as 0 using the transformation, a row transformation. Therefore, 2 minus 2, we get 0 means R2 minus 2, R1. Next, 3 minus 3, we get 0. R3 minus 3, R1. And 1 minus 1, we get 0 means R4 minus R1. In a single step, we can perform all this calculation. First row, no change. 1, 3, 2 and 0. Uh, changes in second with the help of this R2 minus 2 R1. 2 minus 2 times 1, 2 minus 2 we get 0. Minus 1, minus 3 to the 6, minus 6, minus 1, minus 6 we get minus 7, then 3 minus uh, 2 to the 4, 3 minus 4, we get minus 1, 0. Next, R3 minus 3, R1, 3 minus 3 times 1, 3 minus 3, we get 0, minus 5 minus 3, 3 is a 9, minus 5 minus 9, we get minus 14, 4 minus 3 to the 6, 4 minus 6, we get minus 2 and 0. Then R4 minus R1, 1 minus 1, we get 0. 17 minus 3, we get 14. Then 4 minus 2, we get 2 and 0. Uh, first step is completed here. The first diagonal element is 1, non zero, and the remaining element below it as 0. Then we go for the second diagonal element. Here it is minus 7, non zero element. And using that minus 7, we convert the remaining elements below it to 0. Minus 14 plus 14, we get 0. Means the transformation is R2 minus 2 times sorry r3 minus 2 times r2 and 14 minus 14 we get 0 means r4 plus 2 times r2 we get first row no change it is 1 3 2 1 3 2 0 second row also no change 0 minus 7 minus 1 and 0 Changes in third and fourth row. 
applying r3 minus 2 r2 0 minus 2 times 0 we get 0 minus 14 minus minus plus 7 to the 14 minus 14 plus 14 we get 0 here then minus 2 plus 2 we get 0 last is 0 then r4 plus 2 times r2 0 plus 2 times 0 0 14 minus 7 to the 14 14 minus 14 we get 0 and 2 minus 2 we get 0 and the last is 0 if we see the principal diagonal element first one is 1 second one is minus 7 second one is minus 7 first one is 1 third one is 0 uh, in the process it becomes 0 and if we see the element below it is again 0 means if we interchange it remains 0 means it is not possible for us to convert that 0 to non-zero therefore we stop the calculation here and all lower diagonal elements are 0 therefore whatever this form we have it is called as canonical form and therefore after getting canonical form we find the rank of A and rank of AD a rank of first matrix this is number of non-zero rows first, first one is non-zero row second also is non-zero row third and fourth row are a zero row as all elements are zero and therefore the rank of A is here 2 then rank of augmented matrix complete matrix therefore first row non-zero second non-zero third and fourth are zero row and therefore rank is again 2 here ranks are equal but we check whether it is equals to number of unknowns or less than number of unknowns unknowns are 3 and we are getting rank as 2 therefore it is less than number of unknowns and as it is less than number of unknowns we get infinite number of solution or non-zero solution mm -hmm. or non-trivial solution for to obtain that solution infinite number of solution we have to convert this matrix to equation form so we have uh, multiplying that matrix a by a column matrix of x y z we get the first equation x plus y 3y x plus 3y plus 2z is equals to 0 first equation and second equation is minus 7y minus z is equals to 0 second equation uh, check it with the help of that matrix what are the coefficients for the first 0 sorry 1 3 2 therefore 1 into x x plus 3y plus 2 z is equals to 0 and second row elements are 0 minus 7 minus 1 0 x minus 7 y minus z if we observe the last equation is containing two unknowns y and z therefore we consider any one of them as k let y equal to k Uh, substituting it in equation 2 means from 2 we get the value of z transferring this minus z to other side we get z is equals to minus 7 y and therefore it minus 7 into 1 means we get minus 7 k put this in equation 1 therefore from 1 we get x is equal to minus 3y and minus 2z transferring to right hand side we get this one then substituting the value 
माइनस थ्री इंटू वाई वाई एस के माइनस टू इंटू जेड माइनस सेवन के एंड एफ वी गेट वैल्यू एज माइनस थ्री के एंड प्लस फोर्टीन के वैल्यू इज इलेवन के एंड एफ द सोल्यूशन इज एक्स इज इक्वल टू इलेवन के वाई इक्वल टू के एंड जेड इज इक्वल टू माइनस सेवन के इन्फाइनेट नंबर ऑफ सोल्यूशन इन्फाइनेट एज वी कैन टेक इन्फाइनेट वैल्यूज फॉर के वन टू थ्री लाइक दिस दे फोर टू क्रॉस चेक सम वैल्यू फॉर के सपोज के इक्वल्स टू वन वी गेट द वैल्यू ऑफ एक्स एज इलेवन वाई एज वन एंड जेड एज माइनस सेवन आउट ऑफ इन्फाइनेट दिस इज वन ऑफ द सोल्यूशन एंड देन सब्सटेनिंग इन द फर्स्ट इक्वेशन फर्स्ट इक्वेशन इज एक्स प्लस थ्री वाई प्लस टू जेड इज इक्वल टू जीरो वी गेट एक्स एस एलेवन वाई एस वन मीन्स थ्री एंड जेड एज माइनस सेवन माइनस फोर्टीन इक्वल टू जीरो फोर्टीन माइनस फोर्टीन वी गेट इक्वेशन एज सैटिस्फाइड देन वी गो फॉर द सेकेंड इक्वेशन सेकेंड इक्वेशन इज टू एक्स माइनस वाई प्लस थ्री जेड इक्वल्स टू जीरो दे फोर सफ्टिंग वैल्यूज वन सेकेंड टू इंटू एलेवन माइनस वाई वाई इज वन एंड जेड इज थ्री इंटू माइनस सेवन दे फोर ट्वेंटी टू माइनस वन वी गेट ट्वेंटी वन एंड माइनस ट्वेंटी वन दे फोर वी गेट जीरो इक्वल्स टू जीरो सेकेंड इक्वेशन इज ऑल्सो सैटिस्फाइड एंड वी गो फॉर थर्ड थर्ड इक्वेशन इज थ्री एक्स माइनस फाइव वाई प्लस फोर जेड इक्वल्स टू जीरो सब्सिट वैल्यू थ्री इंटू एलेवन वाई इज वन and z is minus 7 33 minus 5 and minus the for 33 minus 33 we get 0 equals to 0 equation is satisfied and lastly last equation is x प्लस सेवनटीन वाई प्लस फोर जेड इक्वल्स टू जीरो सब्सिट वैल्यू एक्स इज एलेवन सेवनटीन इंटू वन मीन सेवनटीन एंड प्लस फोर इंटू माइनस सेवन इज इक्वल्स टू जीरो दिस वन इज ट्वेंटी एट माइनस ट्वेंटी एट जीरो इज इक्वल्स टू जीरो इक्वेशन इज सैटिस्फाइड and here as all equations are satisfied whatever the values we got is the correct one therefore this is the required solution x is equal to 11k y is equals to k and z is equals to minus 7k Please like my video share it as well as subscribe to my channel and to receive the notification for my such type of new videos please press the bell icon thank you thanks for watching